then marginal costing one type of problem you will get profit under marginal costing and absorption costing profit under marginal costing and absorption costing so let's see what are the points we need to remember for doing this problem so the important areas you need to be focused on so first you need to be focused on valuation of inventory this inventory is nothing but finished goods a second area you need to focus on absorption of overheads let's see valuation of inventory the valuation of inventory was made on product cost so what is a product cost depends upon what is a myth what what is the basis of costing your fair you're following if you're following marginal costing basis or are you following absorption costing basis if you're following marginal costing basis your product cost is your prime cost plus variable production or its or if you following absorption costing prime cost plus production overheads it can be fixed and variable it will be fixed and variable so this is a part we have already discussed then let's comes to we need to discuss right now just come to the concept we need to discuss absorption of overheads okay the absorption is nothing but a recovery a recovery of overheads absorption is nothing but recovery of overheads so the overheads you have two types fixed overheads and variable overheads okay for me the problem is if you get into the fixed overhead it is fixed it is remains constant it respect you of your production units then variable overhead will is fixed per unit okay then changes in total with level of activity okay so let me begin with an example so i need to fix the price of my product so to fix the price of the product you have to fix the cost then profit 
then you will get your selling price right so this is a cost i need to fix now i can fix variable cost per unit because i know it will be constant so variable per unit will be constant i can fix it but when it, when it comes to fixed cost in total it is constant now the problem is when i make a production i will sell my product in units means i will 10 units 12 units or one unit like this i will sell to the outsider so i have to fix the price for one unit but whatever fixed cost i'm going to incur it is for total it's a total for the month i don't know what whatever the units you're going to produce but this is a cost this is a 5000 rupees is fixed cost and that is fixed you produce 1000 units you produce 2000 units i don't bother fixed cost is same how many units your produce is irrelevant so variable cost already i know what is a variable cost will be presented only in unit per unit so now my problem with fixed cost so for example so fixed cost per month will be 10000 so i have to recover this 10000 from 5000 units right i have to recover this 10000 from 5000 units which means for each unit i have to 10000 divided by 5000 units from each unit i have to recover 2 rupees per unit sir so what about variable cost variable cost already per unit figure is available it is constant there is no need of is already 4 rupees i fixing it as a 4 rupees total is 6 rupees now i estimated how much 5000 units production i estimated 5000 units when i estimated 5000 units i have estimated 5000 units so in actually i am not able to produce 5000 units i have produced only 4000 units my fixed cost is 10000 rupees for each product when i was selling i was recovering 2 rupees so i have actually incurred 9000 rupees see actually i have recovered sorry actually i have recovered 9000 rupees so the 1000 rupees is under subscription so under absorption under recovery then what what about variable overheads so variable overheads if i produce 4500 units i will incur variable cost only for 4500 units why do i incur for 5000 units because variable cost will change according to your production if i produce 4500 units i will incur only for 4500 units why do i incur for 5000 units so i incurred only for 5000 units the real cost i have was incurred 5000 units so 4000 units so 4000 into 18000 they actually incurred even i recovered from each unit 4 rupees so 18000 so nothing is under absorption and over absorption when it comes to fixed cost i was under absorbed by 1000 rupees so sir you what are you saying that overheads will not be uh, variable overheads will not be over absorbed or under absorbed so it will be it will be because i thought it is 4 rupees okay I thought it will be 4 rupees but if it is comes to 4.2 I will have that over, over absorption and under absorption okay not because of output because of on our output but in a different way we will discuss in standard costing so here we understand the thing is this you are incurring per unit so that whatever you have actual and you are recovered unless your price not changed then it will be same but here it comes to because you are recovering 2 per unit it is based on that 5000 units so you got 2 per unit 
so that got me into the problem right so 1000 rupees is i was under observed okay